Talk to someone. Cheers, guys. Hi, Heather, how you doing? Hello, very good, thanks. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, can you tell us just, uh, first of all, your, your sort of general reflections on the first two games? Everything's uh, looking in, in pretty good order and, and you're sort of on course for a, a series victory. How, how do you see it? Yeah, I think it's been a good start. Um, I think we probably haven't played our best cricket yet, um, but we're still sort of winning, winning well, we're still posting 150 plus, uh, despite probably um, not fulfilling our potential really as, as a batting lineup yet. Um, but yeah, it's just been lovely to get back out there really, uh, get back playing, um, dust off a few cobwebs. I think as a general, we've been pretty sharp, which has been really pleasing actually, because the girls have worked really hard during that lockdown period. To, to work on a few things as individuals. So, um, yeah, it's been nice to see that. Obviously, looking for a series win tomorrow. And do you feel there's a couple of you there in the top order, maybe, who were looking for a, looking for a big score and, and maybe on the verge of one, maybe yourself and, and Nat Siver, it looks like she could be ready for a score? Yeah, definitely. You're always looking for big scores as batters, I think. Um, and, yeah, obviously, uh, we haven't had many people go on, I think, the other night. Uh, we had lots of starts, but no one went on to get that really sort of big score, which we know wins a large percentage of games. So, um, yeah, we're obviously looking to do that. Um, I think the West Indies probably bowled more to their plans and executed better the other night. Um, the pitch was a little bit slower, so they um, went a little bit wide and, and went to that tactic, which uh, we probably didn't adapt to as well enough. But, um, yeah, the hopeful that we'll, we'll get some runs on the board. I think me and that in particular have, I've had a really good year. We, have, we haven't got the runs we wanted so far this series, but um, yeah, Nat's been hitting the ball better than ever in practice. So back in her over the next few games. And just in terms of the game being on the BBC on a, on a Saturday sort of prime time viewing audience, really, does, does that mean a lot to the squad and to yourself in terms of uh, putting your best foot forward and, and making a making a good show? Yeah, of course. We're we're desperate to put a show on. I think probably this is the most visible bilateral series we've ever, we've ever had which is amazing obviously Sky have been a great broadcast partner and has shown all the games free on YouTube as well um, but to have that prime slot on, on BBC is going to only increase the reach that we're able to have so um, yeah hopefully we can put on a brilliant performance I think there's been a, a bigger buzz around training today despite um, being about six degrees so um, yeah the girls are all excited to to not have to play when it's a bit colder under lights as well. Thanks, Rory. Um, nothing in the chat box, despite my protestations. Um, so I'm going to pause while I wait for somebody to bag a question. Uh, thank you, Raf. You can kick us off. Hi, Heather. Um, you played the same team in the first two games. Any plans to change it up, change it up tomorrow? Uh, we haven't done selection yet, but um, yeah, look, it, I think it'd be quite hard to change a winning team, um, particularly the way the girls have been performing. Um, so yeah, we'll have to have a chat after lunch, um, but I think it'd be quite hard to, to drop someone at this point. Okay, um, and one more from me, if I may. Um, obviously, you talked about tomorrow being on the BBC. Um, the first two games have been reasonably one-sided. Does it concern you slightly? And would you actually prefer the West Indies to be slightly more competitive tomorrow so it's a better spectacle? No, look, it doesn't concern me. I, I guess our job is to, to try and win games of cricket, which we've been doing. Obviously, the West Indies have, have had a little bit of a break. Not many of them were training before they came over here. So that obviously needs to be taken into account a little bit. Um, and I think the other day did threaten to be a really good game when uh, DeAndre and Stefani were, were building that partnership. We did really feel under pressure. And, and in the first game as well, when, when DeAndre was there, you always felt like they could make a game of it because we know the hitting potential she does have. Um, but I think as a side, we've, we've executed really well, particularly with the ball um, and, and managed to keep them quiet. And, and hopefully we can continue to do that. Obviously, um, from a captain's point of view, in terms of growth for the team, you want to see the girls put under pressure as much as possible. But um, look, we're, we're doing our job very well at the moment and we're just going to look to continue to do that. Thank you. Thanks, Ralph. Easy. If you could name one player um, who would turn it on for the cameras, <laughs> who is it and why uh, good question um, probably Danny Wyatt um, she loves the, the buzz of, of T20 cricket and the, the buzz of, of having people to, to go and show what she can do um, she's had good signs in the first two games um, and hasn't really gone on so um, yeah Danny is looking good and, and hopefully she can go out and impress tomorrow Matt please um, hi Heather, could you just 
uh, a couple of words on your three young spinners. Um, I'm sure you're encouraged with how, how they've done so far in this series. Yeah, really encouraged. Um, Sophie and Sarah obviously have been consistently in the side for a long time now and, and really done well for us. Um, and to see Maddie take her opportunity like that, she obviously didn't bowl in the first game um, due to tactical bit. So, um, yeah, really delighted for them. They're all 21, which is really nice um, to see them doing so well. And I think what they have done, they've been really brave as well. Um, you saw Sarah, Sarah Glenn get DeAndre out the other day by tossing the ball up. And if you don't quite get that right, you know it's going to go the distance. So it's been really pleasing to see them be really brave in, in how they go about things um, and looking to take wickets, which is uh, something we want to keep on doing as a side, something we've addressed um, since the World Cup, that we want to get better at taking wickets in particular through that middle period. And, and those spinners are a massive part of that, obviously. And as a captain, I guess it's particularly helpful to have sort of three different types with slow left arm or off spinner and leg spinner for different plans and defending short boundaries, stuff like that. Yeah, it's, it's great to, to have. Um, we've obviously got a lot of experience in our scene department and those spinners um, just give us a few different options so we can uh, obviously match up against different batters and in P20 that's very important and can take wickets and control other teams, batters in different conditions. Um, so yeah, it's really pleasing. Um, we, we've given Maddie a new nick, nickname as well, which we're hoping will stick. Uh, so she looks a bit like Wednesday from the Adams family. Uh, so yeah, really pleased for Maddie to come in and, and do so well. Um, and just lastly, um, the Rachel Hayhoe Flint Trophy final is on Sunday. Are you uh, planning on watching that? And is there anyone in particular you're sort of looking out for to impress? Yeah, I'm definitely going to be watching it. Obviously, it's uh, a rest day for us, so I'll be tuned in for sure. Um, got the Western Storm out there, obviously, but um, yeah, there's going to be two really good teams. Um, and yeah, I think it's going to be a really good spectacle. Amazing that it's on, on Sky and available for people to see, which is brilliant. Um, and yeah, there's been some good performance, hasn't there, throughout the, the competition. So um, yeah, I'll be, be certainly watching it and uh, have a keen eye on who does well. Cheers. Thanks, Matt. Um, unless anybody else would like a question, um, just two things for me. Um, hoping to make Tom Harrison available tomorrow um, on specifically women and girls cricket, our work across COVID and women's cricket month. Um, yet to be confirmed, but I'm, I'm pretty hopeful. I'll let you all know, obviously. Uh, and the second thing is um, we're running a competition across this weekend, uh, which I'll bug you all about on Twitter because your support would be much appreciated. I will buy you a drink in return. Um, unless anyone has any questions, I will end it there. Thanks very much, guys. I'll share the recording uh, and see you all soon. Cheers. Goodbye, Brendan.